Hello everyone, I'll be giving you an overview of our work, SecUPS, which stands for Sequential Uncertainty Aware Pseudo-Label Selection for Semi-Supervised Text Recognition. The QR code in the middle could be scanned to be directed to the paper. In pseudo-label based semi-supervised learning, the label data is initially used to train the model. Once the model has been trained with the label data and has acquired a seed knowledge about the task, the unlabeled data are queried to the trained model, and the model predictions from the unlabeled data are then assigned as its labels. After that, the labeled and the pseudo-labeled data are used together to retrain the model from scratch, and this process is continued for multiple rounds. Nonetheless, a pseudo-label based semi-supervised learning suffers due to the inclusion of incorrectly labeled samples. Furthermore, this problem exacerbates in the case of sequence predictions due to the combinatorial vastness of the predicted hypothesis space. Therefore, correct hypothesis generation and selection are of critical importance in such a framework. In this work, we seek to propose a reliable hypothesis generation and a robust sample selection method for sequential pseudo-label based semi-supervised learning in the context of image-based text recognition. For hypothesis generation and pseudo-labeling, we use beam search inference to obtain top B highly probable sequences for a given input image and use B number of predictions to approximate the predictive distribution. And then only select the highest probability or maximum confidence sequences as the pseudo-label. For selecting good or potentially correct pseudo-labeled samples, we select or reject the pseudo-labeled samples based on the uncertainty estimated based on the predictive distribution using Monte Carlo dropout. More concretely, we take an ensemble-based approach for uncertainty estimation, also referred to as MC dropout in the literature. We create different instances of the trained model by applying dropout to them and then take the expectation of the predicted distribution from each of the instances. Following this, we compute the total uncertainty associated with the input, which is defined as the expectation of the entropy of the predictive distribution. Finally, when we have the predicted distribution calculated as described in the previous slide, we compute the uncertainty as the weighted average of the entropy of each of the predictions obtained via beam search. To summarize our method, First, we query all the unlabeled examples and obtain the top B predictions using beam search and assign the highest probability predictions as the pseudo labels. Then, we create different instances of the train model using dropout and query the unlabeled examples to compute the uncertainty in its prediction, and then select only those examples with uncertainty values less than a set threshold. Finally, the selected pseudo labeled examples are used along with the label examples to train the model from scratch, and in this way, we are able to exploit the latent task-relevant knowledge from the unlabeled data as well. We consider the standard handwriting recognition and the scene text recognition datasets for comparisons and evaluations of our proposed method in the semi-supervised setting. We use different portions of the labeled training dataset as the labeled and the unlabeled split and compare against word prediction accuracy and the character error rate. For handwriting recognition, our method outperforms the current self-supervised based method seek CLR. Similarly, for scene text recognition, we observe consistent improvements. In this plot, we visualize the word prediction accuracies obtained by different methods on different portions of the data used as label examples. We also visualize the evolution of the performance at different rounds of pseudo-labeling and retraining. Additionally, we study the variation in the performance with different uncertainty threshold values and observe that for threshold values too low or high, the performance suffers. In sum, in this work, we propose a pseudo-label generation and an uncertainty-based data selection framework for semi-supervised image-based text recognition. The proposed method uses beam search inference to yield highly probable hypothesis for pseudo-label assignment of the unlabeled samples. Furthermore, it adopts an ensemble of models obtained by MC dropout to get a robust estimate of the uncertainty related to the input image. Finally, the estimated uncertainty is assessed to select the unlabeled examples to be used for training in subsequent rounds. Thank you for listening.